How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. My room's a mess right now, so I didn't feel like using the face cam. So we're just gonna bring it back to a good old classic, Rice or Nice, back where it all started. I do credit Rice or Nice with being one of the series that really got my channel to take off. And I still enjoy doing them to this day. It's really cool seeing your guys' build and seeing uh, what kind of people like watch my videos. So if you want to see your car in one of these videos, send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.com at gmail.com. Honda and the McLaren are under the knife right now being worked on. Hopefully they'll be done by the end of the year. We'll have to see. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, we'll just start with this one. 17 Focus ST Ricer Nice. All right, first photo is something that looks like it came off of Snapchat, which isn't a great start. 275s to help put the power down. I mean, I guess. His tire's a little bit too big for his wheel. You could tell it's ballooning out a little bit, but I'd rather it be a little too big than a little too small, personally. Underne underneath the hood, we see a Blow Me sticker with uh, intake. Uh, it's kind of cringe when people put boosted and blow me and stuff on factory turboed cars unless you upgraded your turbo it's it's just it's it's a little cringe this is some cool artwork though in the background the whole mario the mario theme in the background that's pretty sick his wheels are all right i they what are they koenigs yeah they look like koenigs it's a great nice lightweight wheel it's got some hood vents got some aero fitment is pretty decent i mean the ballooning tires kind of helps fill in uh what would be gaps but it's, it's all right we see a nice aftermarket front mount evil st okay i'm expecting some good power in your description we see a little intake duct all right i mean he's got he's got some goods going on oh harness bar with harnesses correctly attached not every day you see that well, what stickers does he have on the back these are some things that i would probably get rid of but that's just me i mean i like the cleaner look of running less stickers depending on the car but it looks like he has like every part he's ever installed on the car on the back. And of course, weather guards. What what a ricer. Who, who puts weather guards on a car these days? That's an old joke. You got to be an OG to know that one. Anyways, uh, yeah, it seems all right. Not bad. But his description will be the deciding factor. Mainly built towards function over form. My daily show car, occasional autocross and quarter mile car. Definitely not a drag car, but still have fun with it at the strip. Mods, three inch intake, big mouth intake, snorkel, callus downpipe, three three inch cat back, bigger FMIC, dual blow off valve, solid rear motor mounts, VC side oil catch can, weighted th short throw. Okay, I mean, is it tuned or? Okay, tuned on 91 and E30. That's what I wanted to know. He, was list he started listing like, you know, shift knobs and shit, and I was getting a little underwhelmed. Makes about 300 wheel horsepower and 400 torque on E30, depending on dyno. Okay, all right. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. I'll give it a thumbs up. I, th I think it's nice. I think it's nice. All right, next car. Oh, God. Matte Black V6 Mustang S197. Oh, that was it. You showed me three photos of it. Apparently, those are 370Z wheels which don't really look like they fit at all. I mean, like, I could see half the tire in the back. Yeah. I know rice isn't the word for this because it's not really race-inspired, but I'm, I'm just going to say uh, pass. I'm a pass on this one. But, I mean, it would be more rice than, than nice. That's for sure. Oh, we got the sick fog light. Sick! All right, next car, F80 M3. That hood gap is blatantly obvious that is some crazy hood gap i don't know what happened there you think german car and you think refined you think sleek you think stylish and then you just see what looks like gap galore right there glory hole gap right in your hood i mean i see he's got a little window cut for his uh engine i guess well, i wonder if he shows a close-up to what we can actually see but yeah i mean uh wheels they're all right not my favorite but they're all right they, they work for bmws and that's probably about it this is the laziest lighting setup and tree setup I've ever seen. This is depressing. This is what happens when you spend all your money on a BMW. You, you, you don't have money for Christmas lights and a tree. Well, that just looks like a shrub. You just throw a bush. It looks like you ran over a fucking dog and spray painted him green and called it a day. This, this, is, yeah, this ain't looking too good, Chief. This ain't looking too good. Does your boy in the background? Your boy in the background has a better looking tree than you. What is this? This looks like trash. And I'm not trying to be mean. It just looks like you threw trash on your car. Are those the only photos? So he doesn't show us what's underneath the hood. He doesn't show us what's the inside. I mean, maybe he's doing us a favor. I mean, from the outside, like, it looks pretty good, but that hood gap is is killer. It's definitely not rice. I don't think he did anything here ricey, but uh, it's just, <laughs> that's a funny photo. That is just embarrassing. All right. Uh, let's read his description. 550 wheel horsepower stage two. 
tune, front mount intake, lowered on springs, plus Christmas photos. You got to reevaluate your Christmas photos. Next car, it's a Lancer C99 with a 4G 63T. Why is it that Lancers just always look like they're owned by crackheads? Like, it, it could be a cool swap like this, but it just always looks like it's owned by crackheads. I, I don't know what it is with it. Oh, well, you got some, like, confettis on the inside. They're not, like... Oh, are they? Are they, are they Recaros? Oh, they, they look like Recaros. Some old school confettis. A little, little ripped, but go to an upholstery guy and he'll fix that up. The engine bay looks great. Like, yeah, you got the blue silicone hoses and shit going everywhere, but at least they're not pool noodles. They're just blue silicone hoses. I, I could live with that. The engine bay, thumbs up. The rest of the car, I'm sure it's a work in progress, but yeah, you got to start working harder on that. The rest of the car just, just ain't ain't there yet, Chief. I, I see, like, you know, you got your front mount. You got maybe, like, an oil cooler right here. There's some other cooler sticking off to the side. Maybe it's your AC condenser. I don't think they make them that small, but maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. And then you got some, like, hood vents and some hood pins and shit. And, yeah. Oh, I guess, now nah, the filter's kind of in this area. I was looking to see if this duct goes to the filter, and it actually kind of looks like it does. So, yeah, that's actually some function right there. Just finish the exterior, and I'm sure you've, you've got yourself a nice-looking car. 2.0 swap full HKS setup makes about 340 horsepower with 360 newton meters, I believe. HKS super dragger exhaust and SR and SSR 550 suspension. Thumbs up. It's a build in progress, but I respect it. 22 full bolt-on Camaro SS. Uh, it looks like he wrapped it like red chrome, which looks... Really nice, surprisingly. Unless that's just his paint. Is that just his paint? That might just be his paint. That shit looks fucking minty right there. That I literally thought that was like red chrome wrap. His paint is just flawless. He's got the ZL1 Wendell E wing. And then the cut diffuser, which is kind of ironic. I mean, it depends on, I guess, what he's doing. If he's doing drag racing or street racing or road course, I guess it depends. But, you know, if you want to reduce drag, you wouldn't usually go and throw a wing on your car. It just doesn't. But uh, he's got a giant Holly EFI uh, hood up exit, air ram, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's like if I had a Camaro, it'd be pretty hard to tell myself, no, you don't want that. You know, like, ah, oh, it's just one of those things where it's just, it, look at it. Oh, it sticks through the hood. Oh, oh. What, what, what? Oh, you know what would be so hard? If he powder coated it to match to paint match or to be black powder coat it either black or powder coat it to to be paint matched oh that would look fucking hard at least in my eyes my eyes might be blind but at least in my eyes is it just me or does this bolt look looser than that bolt i would go check your bolts that bolt is definitely looser than that bolt anyways i, I like setups like this they always sound wicked too just fucking they're usually cammed i'm sure his is just blah 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 reading his description 22 ss full bolt on rotofab cold air intake Holly high ram intake manifold, 105 millimeters. Catech throttle body, probably butchered that. Speed engineering, one and seven eighths long tube headers. That's pretty big. MBRP axle back, DSX flex fuel kit. Did he say it's it's camped? I guess it might not be camped. Shitty Nitto NT triple five G2s. Yeah, those are those are great front tires. That's what I run on like most of my cars because they last forever. Those are horrible rear tires. I would not run those on the back. This makes about 490 on the 85. Can't hook for shit. Please destroy my self-esteem. I like it. I mean, there's there's not really much I would do differently. I just, it's a little counterintuitive to cut your diffuser and then throw a wing on. And usually, you know, do one or the other. Not both. But maybe it was a fitment issue. I don't know. Regardless, I like it. I like it. I like it when people modify their cars. The right way. 2016 BMW M5. Looks like it's wrapped in some dookie brown. Oh, we got some titanium underneath the hood. Some really pretty titanium as well. That is... Damn, that is really pretty. Uh, apparently, it's from Abe Apex built. Even their, like, T-bolt clamps, I don't know if they're titanium or if they're just, like, burned or painted to look like that. But, I mean, that looks like titanium. That's crazy. That's 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 money. I was kind of underwhelmed by the exterior. I was like, dude bought an M5 and wrapped it. Sick. Like, cool. Whatever. Moving on. But that is a pleasant surprise, if I do say so myself. That is beautiful. Wheel setup, too. Just, mm simple and clean they might be oem wheels unless he just threw back on the bmw center cap but it looks like it looks like carbon ceramic brakes which doesn't surprise me 
all the carbon in the interior, nice Alcantara on the wheel. If it's one thing BMW usually does right, it's their interior, except for when it starts decaying and gets sticky. But I doubt the M5 is decaying and getting sticky. Anyways, email, engine, and trans tune, apex built downpipes, charge pipes, and front mount intakes, loads of carbon on the interior and exterior, KW, HAS suspension, 635 wheel horsepower, 93, and 708 wheel horsepower on E30. Those are respectable numbers, my man. Those are very respectable numbers, especially on a car that looks so, like, subtle. I like it. Thumbs up. It's kind of, it's, kind of, it, it's hard to call an M5 a sleeper, but it kind of do be like that sometimes, you know? It's definitely not a sleeper, but I didn't expect it. I, I thought it was just some raunchy rap on it, but whatever. I like it. Thumbs up. Nice. 92 Dakota with what looks like drag wheels. We got big old slicks in the back, nice skinnies up front. We got a little cargo cover for the arrow. Okay, we got some turbo, some waste gates. Okay, hello, beautiful. Let's take a look at what's going on in here. Now, this is a fucking sleeper. No, nobody's looking at the Dakota and thinking, you know, he's got some crazy power underneath the hood. The Willwood brakes, two-piece rotors as well, very nice. Nice turbo setup. Looks like we have some sort of uh, old school motor. We'll, we'll double check, see what it is. It looks like it's a 408 stroker comp crank. I don't think he shows us. No, he doesn't really show us the, the full on photo, but I like how y you can build a, a race truck like this, or you can build a fucking lame ass squatted truck like that, that will never go off roading or do anything cool besides drive and park at a mall. I'm taking the race truck, although no filter, that's 10 years in jail, minimum. Gotta put a filter, gotta use protection. Anyways, this is a mean looking truck. That thing that thing is mean. If that thing pulled up next to me at a light, I'd be I'd be kind of shivering my timbers. Oh, I could see some suspension in the rear too sticking out. Little, little control arm or a sway bar link sticking out. Oh my god, that is that is scary. That's scary looking. Shiver me timbers. Alright, let's read about it. 408 stroker comp crank. I-beam rods, forged pistons, aluminum heads, turbo cam, 1,200 horse, FTI fuel plate, water to air, with a precision 6466. With a precision 6466. Built for 1,500 plus, paired with a Caltrack trance, new radials out back, front end, 5 lug conversion with wood brakes. Nice truck. 1985.5 Porsche 944. Oh, it looks so much better in the dark. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but it looked uh, <coughs> so much better in the dark. Oh, my God. Somebody get this car some lotion. It'd be ashy as fuck. Okay. That's better. What happened here? This must be like a paint restoration or when he first got it. I don't know. And he's ripping that shit apart. Oh, did he like restore it? That would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. I mean, it's a pretty... Com it's a pretty... Okay, that's a sick photo. That, that, that goes hard. It's a pretty complete uh, transformation or restoration, it seems. It's a, it's a really complete car. I just want to know why not all the photos look like this, because this, this little shit looks brand new right here. Beautiful. Looks great right there. If I was judging it just based on this photo alone, that's, that's a nice car. That's an ashy-ass fucking car. I'm going to judge it based on this one. It's nice. His description says he bought it super cheap, took it all apart, got it to run and drive. It's his daily. He doesn't have any mods, but he's focusing on maintenance first. That's a smart man. I respect it. You got to respect it. If you're focusing on maintenance first, you're a smart man. Not because it's just a Porsche German engineered shitbox, but because there's no point in buying mods if your car don't run right. I'm in that boat right now with the McLaren. Trust me. All right, we'll do one or two more. Next car, Chrysler 300 with clearly a Hellcat swap. Damn, that is... Is that how it looks? No. No, okay, that's a different front bumper and everything. I was about to say, that is a sleeper if that's how it currently looks. <laughs> I would not expect a Hellcat swap. There we go. That's more fitting. SRT hood, SRT front end. That's a lot more fitting. Now, I don't want to accuse you guys of doing anything illegal, but, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of parts laying around. And I know you can cop these Hellcat swaps for... <laughs> Very cheap if you're looking in the right areas on Facebook Marketplace, but uh, we'll just ignore that. Anyways, on the exterior, yeah, it looks great. A little bit of panel gap, but that's expected with aftermarket body panels. Also, the paint doesn't 100% match, but once again, 
that's kind of expected, especially when you're painting two different materials. It's really hard to get them to match. Definitely one hell of a transformation, though. And you gotta love the Hellcat swap. They're Hellcat swapping everything nowadays. If you have a Hellcat on the street right now, I bet you it'll end up in another car very soon. That's the way it's looking. All right, next car. Holy shit, someone else did it. Holy shit. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? You guys seeing it? He put a filter on his turbo. What a smart man. No, no, no. Seriously, though, it's a 2JZ swamped S197. Oh, my God. It looks like a V6 body style, too. I believe it is. Yeah, it's a V6. But he put in a straight six. What a madman. Okay, I'm just going to say this turbo feed, bro, you, you got to do this a little bit better. That is some some janky shit. Oh, hopefully, we get a better shot. Hopefully, we get a better shot. Okay, I see some, some, some race stars. I don't think the rears are race stars. What the fuck are those? Those are weird looking. I'm just happy to see someone else put a Jay-Z in a Mustang. There we go. This is a much better photo. Okay, yeah. So what I would do, buddy, what I would do is shorten this line and then just do the 90 and have it go through here. That's how I have mine. This is too much. You got to shorten this and flip this 90 and then have it feed through here. That's how you got to do it. The rest of it, though, oh, th I had this exact intake on my 2J swapped Mustang. Oh, uh, is this a GE? I believe this is a GE. No, is it? No, because it's non-VVTI. What is this? What am I looking at right now? My head is hurting. Anyways, the intake manifold, Um, I picked it from mine because it was really cheap. I don't know if they make a more expensive version of it, but that's a pretty cheap intake manifold. Uh, I guess we'll have to read his description and everything, too, but... Does he have twins, or am I tripping? Where is this pipe going? There's no shot he has twins. It's not, no, there's no fucking shot. Two giant twins that size? No, no shot. Nice catch can with breather kit. I like that. Nice and tucked away. Got a little bit of a master cylinder leak, it looks like. Fuel regulator nice and tucked up out of the way. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks pretty well done. It looks definitely better well, or more well done than mine. mine. Mine was a fucking piece of shit. So this is good, but I, it's confusing me because, like, your water neck looks way different than mine. My water net goes in. It's a cool looking car. It's just hurting my head. Okay, here we go. Borg Warner S366 BC 272 cams. Stock bottom end 2JZ GE non VVTI. Okay, so that explains it. It's a GE motor from a Supra, which is still a strong motor. It's still a good motor. The head, I think, is a little lackluster. That's why they usually do the 1.5 JZ swap, but. It, it, it's it's a uh, it's better than an IS three hundred uh, GE, which is what I had in the WAP R one fifty four dog box badass estimated five hundred wheel horsepower on twenty pounds of boosty boost. Yeah, no, that's sick. There a little bit of cleaning up to do. A little bit of cleaning up. I, I maybe it's a GE thing, but the water neck on this side just is throwing me off like crazy. It looks cleaner though with with the water neck there. I will say that, but uh, yeah, a little bit of cleaning up to do. But no, that's a that's a badass swap right there. That is that is sick. I bet it's a whole lot of fun. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. We had a lot of cool cars this episode. Very sick. Love seeing your guys' cool builds. If you guys want to see your car in one of these videos, send it to my Gmail, Drew, Peacock, Eclipse, at gmail.com. Anyway, subscribe, and until next video, peace.